we worship you. You let me pray where there is no way. My villas and arias are your words. We worship you. We worship you. Mighty God, we worship you. Your name is higher than any other day. Wonder working God. We worship you. We worship you. Miracle worker, wonder working God. Way maker, the end of days. Miracle worker, the working God. Hey, karibu tena ndunge. Days, iyanu, 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 ololu. Masota shake tora bosa ke tora bwaka zita ndara bashota liboko shake tayeke mando zete the devil is a liar indeed is a liar I tell you I don't even know <clears throat> I don't even know what logs um the internet just decided to shut up to shut it off but it's okay we gotta preach this word. Thank you so much for joining. Can you invite your friends again? Thank you so much for joining me once again. I ask you to invite your friends. Tell them the prophet is back. Devil is a liar. Actually, even in my spiritual eyes, I could see um, something wandering me from up. But devil is a liar. That's why I just began by praying and he's defeated. He's under our feet. In Jesus' mighty name. His work is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And now I'm even feeling no, no more energy even to prophesy. You know, energy to, to preach this word. He is a liar. He is defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Dunge Wambua, you're experiencing some headache, especially on the front side. Can you touch your head and pain on the right side of your lower abdomen? Can you touch yourself and say, Jesus, let the pain go in Jesus' mighty name. Let the pain go in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. We, we kissed her a samba. There's so much, I don't know, who is experiencing like this, a panic attack. Like the, yeah, like a panic attack. I rebuke that panic attack, panic attack in Jesus' mighty name. Also, in with with star asamba, touch your chest. That cough, that congestion, whoever has it, I rebuke it in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. As you connect, God is going to release a word for you, and that issue, God is going to solve it by His power. Not by my mighty, not by my strength, but by the spirit of the living God. As you connect every issue you are encountering, God is going to solve it. Yes, my sister Ndunge, you can touch your lower abdomen on the right side. That pain I command it to go, and that headache I command it to go in Jesus' mighty, 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 mighty name. Devil, you're a liar. I curse you by God of heaven. Janet Mutua, I feel um like I don't know who has this like a mild pain below the left shoulder and like sadness and the pain is coming all the way to the front side of the shoulder. Uh, if that is you or anyone in your family, just say who that person is and I rebuke that pain now in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke that pain now. And this is what I'm seeing. Ah, you see, everything works together for good for those who trust, for those who love God and those who are called according to his purposes. I, I, I even feel more energized to prophesy. You know, devil is a liar. 
Whatever he plans for evil, God turns it around for his own good, for good, for our own good. Janet Mutua, I'm sitting in your home. A cross, you know, a cross like the Catholic cross, which has a statue of Jesus Christ. Is that true? I can see it a lot on the wall. Janet Mutua, where you stay, I can see a cross. Where, where is that cross? I want to tell you why God is showing me this uh, cross and Jesus, a statue of Jesus, a white, white man, as many perceive is Jesus. And I want to tell you, God is spirit. And he, Jesus was telling the woman who was by the well, the, man, the woman whom Jesus was asking, who is your husband? He, he, told, he told that woman, God is a spirit and he's looking for those who shall worship him in spirit and in truth. So you, Jesus cannot fit in that statue. As you put that statue on your wall, that cannot represent Jesus. He is a spirit. That a statue maybe was, was, was carved by an Indian who does not know God. Or by a Chinese who does not know God. And do you believe by putting it on the cross, on the wall that that is Jesus is in your house? Or you can only connect Jesus with your spirit in your heart and you will find him when you connect him in your heart. Mako shika toyende reboka. Zola bako shika toyende. Zake tora bako shake tora bako ntayeke. Devo you're a liar. I break your power. I break your hold in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil, God is showing me someone, Wixa Asamba. I don't know who is who has been like alcoholic in your in your family. But God wants to deliver him from that hold of devil. Uh, something to do with it takes a lot of alcohol. I break that addiction in the name of Jesus. I break, and the person is so frustrated. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break that up. Uh, I break that addiction in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil, you're a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ, every child of God, you are holding captive. You are holding them into addiction. You are holding their joy, their peace, their finances. Marco Shakito Ramandoza, Rikendo Shakito Ramakosata. In the name of Jesus, I tear down your power, I tear down your kingdom, I uproot you from our lives, from our children, from our youth. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I declare every person the enemy is attacking, I declare let them be set free. And I come against every person whom the devil is holding captive. In the name of spiritual marriages, I break those rings, I break those crowns, I tear down those attires and anything that represents him. In the name of Jesus, devil, you're a liar. I approach you in Jesus' mighty, mighty name, mighty, mighty name. Every altar that is speaking against children of God, I don't know who is suffering from kidney, kidney failure, and it's like they are on on, on supporting machine or something or dialysis mende ribo koshi kato yende I'm seeing like machines which are holding your mother. I break every power of the enemy. I break every hold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I come by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I uproot him from anywhere he's holding her. And then I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing someone wearing um, a, like an African attire, Rico Zito Rinda Ramandoze, which has like green, yellow, like a free kitenge, you know, like a, those free African clothes. Rico, and, and, and the person is like, he's also monitoring. Mendo zata liba oko shika toyende. You evil woman, whatever you're releasing in this family, I declare let it backfire 
here now. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am seeing a ring. A ruka shota. The ring is like silver. And it has like a, like a sky. Like a light blue pendant. Rabba Koza. I don't know who has that ring. I break that hold of that ring in the name of Jesus. I break hold of that ring in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a, 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 a lady who is so mounted, who is so mounted. Uh, it's an elderly lady and she's carrying too much. She's carrying too much. Shaka tora bako zekete yende reboka zele boko shikata yende Hmm. Lord Jesus, may you reveal all this. May you reveal more. May you reveal more. I don't know who is this. Um, I'm seeing uh, the enemy monitoring a certain lady. She's an elderly lady. And it's like they come from this size of Ukambani. And uh, not beyond Machakos. Beyond Machakos. Ah, devil, you're a liar. I declare in the name of Jesus, anyone you're monitoring, anywhere you put your eyes to, to release your tatsa. Right now, let the attacks backfire. Let your attacks backfire. Let your attacks backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Shinde ribo ko zaketo yende zaraba ko shakataya. Riko zekete le mando zateyeke. I'm seeing a lot of things living. They let them live. Devil, you're a liar. Pack your belongings and go. Pack your belongings and go in the name of Jesus Christ. Meko shika tayende raketo santayeke. Zaliboko shaketo yende reboka. Zita liboko shika tayende. Children of God are being delivered from this preacher husband. Rikenda zataya. I'm seeing another ring again. Rita labasota yekendo zete yekende yeboka. I break hold of every spiritual ring. I break hold of every spiritual husband. I break hold of every spiritual wives let them be broken let them catch fire let them catch fire let them catch fire devil in the name of jesus we uproot you in jesus mighty name that's someone who has a pain on the left side of the shoulder behind the left side of the shoulder i declare in the name of jesus christ anything the enemy is claiming in your life let it catch fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and then I'm seeing the power of darkness overing of a certain family and they declare the powers of darkness. You can tell me who is this who has been dreaming with like half moon, no quarter moon, quarter moon. You've been dreaming with you dreams you don't understand. I'm seeing um like people who are kind of, they are like, the families like they are saying they are saved, but still they are connected to powers of darkness and they declare whatever they are declaring, it's connected to you. It is broken by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. It is broken by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. It is broken any, any demon, any evil spirit, any familiar spirit monitoring any person who is connected to me here. Let their power, let their hold, let their eyes go blind. Go blind, I declare, devil, let your hands catch fire. 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 Leave every person connected here. Leave children of God. Leave their marriages. Leave their business. Leave their finances. Leave their health. Leave their homes. Leave their schools. In the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. The resurrected Jesus Christ. We come against you by the blood of the lamb. The lamb that was slain for us. We come against you. The lamb that paid lamb, ransom for us. We owe you nothing. We declare blood of Jesus is against you now. In Jesus mighty 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 name Mako shikata yende Zora kesho kotari bando yeko zata Zele keshe kete yende reboka Zoka to shikata yende Mando zato riboka Yele boko zika to yende Janet Mutua you can touch that There's a vein that was Like paining you in the course of the day And it's hitting you all the way to the right eye Let that pain go in Jesus mighty name Ah, my sister Carol Britton from uh, 
Bernardos. I keep forgetting Bernardos, Barbados, Barbados, Barbados. I think Barbados is where Rihanna comes from, yeah? That pain, that pain, that pain, I command that pain to go. And that confusion in your life, I command it to go. That stagnancy and that dizzy, I command it to go. I'm seeing a demon of Rikondasota. It is going. Either way, it is going. Why am I seeing um Ha, shika tayen de basote leboka. Hmm, devil is a liar. I, I, I think I can't explain everything because if they never explain it, you won't, you won't understand. All water is declared it's blood of Jesus to cover you. Blood of Jesus to cover you. Blood of Jesus to cover you in Jesus' mighty name. Because what I saw is a spirit of a dog and the dog has caught fire. Dog represents witchcraft. Hmm. Marco Sika Toyende, I've seen a spirit of a dog and it has caught fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you are set free. Whoever is using any spirit of witchcraft against you, against your household, it has caught fire in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Mm. Peter Odor Oguk. There has been like sluggish life, nothing is moving forward, everything is going at a snail speed, at a snail speed in your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ by God who sent me. Zako taribo koshika tayende. Zori kotandala basote yekende yeboka. Zileke shekete yende. Rake doraboka. Do you serve God in any capacity, Peter or Dwok? Uh, because I saw like even the ministry, you have a ministry, but the, the, it's like it's too far for you to reach. You don't even know how you're going to get there. But in the name of Jesus Christ, declare restoration and healing. And you've got a mild pain around here. Riko sika toye nte basota liboko shika taye. Rika ndala basoko taya. I declare be healed from that pain. Be healed from that pain in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you are. Are you serving God in any way, in any ministry? Because you have a ministry. But it's like the enemy has put a big gap. And then Peter Odrock, someone in your family is experiencing a lower back pain. I, if you want, you can share with the person and they declare, let them be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Lucy Brown, there is a demon of backwardness and frustrations in your life, okay? And it, still, I, I can feel like your child has mild pain on the left left ear, left ear, left ear. And even you too, you've got pain on the right side of your bow of your back, lower back. You can touch yourself. The pain also comes all the way to the front side, like on your lower abdomen. I declare, be healed now. Yes, you can touch a chain. It is right on the west, on the west line. Riko I, I draw out that arrow of backwardness. I draw it out of your life. I draw it out of your life. And I declare, be healed now in Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit of frustration in your life, brown, every spirit of backwardness, I tear it into two. I declare every spirit you can't even show your money. You can't even you can't even do anything. You can't even account whatever you earn, you can't even account for it. Zito. I declare every demon surrounding you now out of your life, out in the name of Jesus Christ. I can see you wearing like a black sandals. No, 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 no. Brown, but they got um, is it strap? Black, just two black straps. Yes? Is that true? You've got that kind of sandals? I release you from spirit of low life. I break hold of every spirit of low life and um, unemployment out of your life. You have to do, you know, things. If you have to go to work, that is the kind of shoe you wear. And that tells you the kind of work you're doing. And I break that hold in the name of Jesus. I set you free, my sister. I set you free. I declare you normally sometimes oh, there's a light. If you've been very keen, there's a light, and that light comes like um 
let me how do i draw this light now there's a light that hits you when you're sleeping okay there's a light that hits you when you're sleeping and then you see like a light like that has like um how do you draw this thing like it has four pointers and then some small 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 lights uh, maybe you're not even keen but i've seen that light and that's a demon okay that's a demon that visits you my sis at night i break hold of that demon in the name of jesus i tear its kingdom apart i can see it going to the by the, with like a water it's a water demon i command it to go by fire in the name of jesus christ i set you free i set you free i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free uh, Stacy, Stacy, I've seen something like, that looks like a spider. And every time there's this spirit of a spider, it normally attacks almost every area of your life. Because a spider, when it makes a cobweb, it does round, 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 round. And I declare, may you be set free from the spirit of a spider. You can tell me, have you encountered these big spiders? Yeah, Stacy, Stacy, I set you free from that spirit of a spider. And you normally get like something just annoys you so much in your spirit. You don't even know what it is. Ah, shikato yende boka, zale boko, shikato yende boko, zakato rekendo, zikato shakata yandara boka. Devil, you're a liar. I set her free from anything that is sitting in her life. Everything that is sitting in her life, I undo it in Jesus' name. And at the same time, I've seen a glass of wine. Ha! Meko shika tayende, raba koze keto, shatayende, ribo koza keto. Mm, I know you're like, is it really true? You can touch yourself on this eye. It normally itches and also pain on your shoulder, left shoulder. Be healed and be set free from every spirit that was sitting in your life. Let it fall down and die by fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' mighty name. Ah! Shika tayanda, bazota, ribo ko sheke tayende. Zeleboko shakatayanda, mazota riboko shakataye. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, there's someone experiencing pain on the left shoulder. If that's you, someone experiencing pain on the left shoulder, just touch, just around near the neck. Touch yourself and shout, Jesus. Be set free and be healed in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. So today I was coming to talk about the temptations. And these temptations, uh, let me get it from the, from the word of God, what it says. In the book of James, we're going to get back to testament to prophecies later on. But ooh, there's someone who just joined now. A lady, you have sharp pain on the left side of your lower abdomen. If that's you the spirit of anchor in your life a lady just joined now and i felt a sharp pain on your lower abdomen be set free and be healed in jesus mighty 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 name hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much for rejoining again thank you so much for rejoining again thank you so much for rejoining again yeah i appreciate your time and we're gonna take we not we are not going to take much of your time I'm not going to take much of your time. Yeah. Uh, uh, today I was talking about temptations before the internet decided to misbehave. But it's well, we always have some backups. Um, so temptations, there are ways, there are tactics the enemy uses to lure us into his, into his um, sinful nature. You know, he brings temptations that makes us they may look so good they may look like a relief to our problem and our challenges and the enemy is normally pushing them because he wants to cut short your blessings he wants to destroy your destiny he wants to see you are going in a right direction and he wants to divert you amen he wants to take something so valuable in your life and he brings petty temptations and whenever we fall um, into his temptations, a sin is bad. And when the sin is bad, there is a death of a certain thing. For example, the temptation Samson fell into, it was something very temporary.
grow up, something that looks small, but he fell into it, and out of that small temptation, he fell into it. He lost his sight, and he lost his assignment to deliver children of God. Praise the Lord. The enemy is always targeting something. Every time the enemy is coming to you, is a way temptations. The uh, it is a is, it is a sin that is knocking on your heart's door, saying, "Can you open open the heart for me?" And every time we fall short of these temptations, a sin is back. And every time the sin is back, something will die eventually in the course of our lives. Something will die, and most of us. Most of you, most of children of God, they've fallen short of grace of God because of temptations. Families have been lost. Marriages have been lost. Children have been left to orphans. People have been buried. People have lost businesses. Mantles have been lost and destroyed. Ministries have been destroyed. People have gone to early grave because we could not resist temptations. It is very important to be discerning and know when the enemy is bringing temptation. My sister and my brother, the enemy has seen something. Devil is so cunning and he's so, so clever. He will not waste his bullets just to aim, uh, aim at you. Every time, that's why I, I, I posted that verse in the book of uh, James 4, 7. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Just like Joseph, what he did. He resisted the devil and out of him resisting, he was able to be crowned to his destiny where God wanted to take him. Devil wanted to bring that thing that looked so good. He, a, a beautiful woman who has the power. Who is the, the like the the, 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 is the wife of the boss. And he's trying to tempt Joseph. But he resisted. And after he resisted, he was able to reach his destiny. So every time the enemy is bringing temptation. Just know this. There is a blessing he has seen which is coming your way. He has already noticed, God has already, already released um, um, enormous or huge blessings in your life. And then he brings some temptations. And then you, 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 want to, you want to get away from temporary issues, temporary problems, temporary reliefs because of temptations. My sister and brother, if only we can resist. If only we can be discerning that there is a better crown, there is a better thing that God has prepared for us, we can be on the safe side. However, the Bible tells me, even if we have fallen short of grace of God, there is a system called restoration. Today I am coming to declare because I know you and I and most of you, the enemy has stolen something valuable from your life, has stolen probably your marriage, has probably stolen your womb, has probably stolen your job, your income. I am coming to call God who says, can this born live again? Can this bone live again? Even if they look so dry, dead bones, uh, there is a system of restoring them back to life. Uh. Today I'm coming to declare whatever the enemy, the trick he used to hook you, the temptations he brought you to hook you and me to his frustrations, uh, failures, uh, um, killing something valuable in our lives. Uh, we call our God in heaven. Who says a righteous man falls, falls seven times and still rises up again. You shall rise up again. You shall be restored uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. That family, that business, that, 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 that thing valuable, that health uh, shall be restored told in Jesus mighty mighty name praise the Lord I don't know what is that the enemy has used to hook you to himself let me give you what the Bible says it says in the book of uh, let me start from James James 1 12 to 15 anyone who can post for me or anyone who can read for me let me see if I can get it listen to what it says book of James um, 1 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. When the Lord, uh, which uh, 
he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Praise the Lord. You heard that. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For he shall receive a crown of life which the Lord has promised. And then it goes again in the number 13. Let no man say, because every time we've fallen short of grace of God, we find ourselves crying because every time the sin is back, then a death is also, every time we fall into sin, a death is bad. Death, the wages of sin is death. Then we begin asking God, but God, why have you forgotten me? God, why have you neglected me? Why can this thing work for me? Why has life become so hard for me? And then uh, James is answering us and telling us, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt he any man. No temptations come from God. No. It's always the devil. And it's because he wants you to, to lose something valuable that is in your life. Just like what the enemy did to Job. At the, at the end of it, the wife of Job was telling Job, curse this God and die. Every time the enemy is trying to, go, to, to, to tempt you, he wants you to separate you from God. He wants you to keep on crying, God, why have you neglected me? Why is it that you can't hear my prayers? Why is it that you are so far away from me? Why are my prayers taking so long to be answered? Because the word of God says in the book of Isaiah uh, 59 verses 1, the arm of God is not sure that he cannot deliver you nor his hand, nor the arm of Lord is not sure that he cannot deliver you, nor is he too dull to hear your prayers, but your sins or your iniquities have separated you from you. So that time we are asking God, where are you? And then the enemy has already made us to fall into temptations. And then the, the, the sin blocks us from God. And that time we'll be experiencing pain. We'll be experiencing frustrations. We'll be experiencing tears. We'll be experiencing sickness and diseases and a lot of things that are very hurtful. And then we'll be asking God, where are you? And God is saying, the sins have separated us from you. But today... God has also given us another a system whereby he says, call unto me for mercy. Call unto me according to Hebrews 4.16. Call, come boldly to the throne of grace that you may receive mercy and obtain grace. Obtain grace for all times of need. Obtain grace for where the enemy has placed that pain, has placed those tears, has placed those sickness and disease, has placed frustrations in your families and in your income. Today, I'm not only coming to talk about the temptations. I will not dwell much on them, but I will dwell much on the restoring whatever the enemy killed. Mikoshi Katoyanda. The enemy uses some tricks to hook us up into temptations. Sometimes it's moral compromise. And I've told you no one is, ex is exempted from temptation. Don't say you are too saved not to fall into the temptations of the enemy. Don't say you are too beautiful, too learned, or too young, or too old to fall into the temptations of, of the enemy. Jesus Christ himself, he fell into the temptations of the enemy. The Bible says, and the tempter came to tempt him. And the enemy looks at your weak points. The enemy looks at your weak points. He looks at which is that part where I can send a hook and draw you to myself so that I can begin to frustrate you. Praise the Lord. Sometimes it's moral compromise. Sometimes it is ego. Sometimes it is fear. Sometimes it is um, fear, ego, moral compromise, greed. You know? Sometimes they are just, they are like, I want this power by fire, by thunder. I have to get that seat. And even if it means going to be buried in, in coffins, just to maintain some power. Others, it is ego. They've already attained money. They've already attained wealth. And they can never go to church. They can never pray. They become so rude. And that is his pride. They are too proud to insult anyone, to do what, to grab people, stuff, pride. Others, they want to frustrate people so that they can adore them and kind of worship.
shoot them. The enemy uses many things. Esau, not Esau, Isa, 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 yeah, that's how we say it, Isa. He lost his birthright because of food. Love of food. Judas Iscariot, he lost connection with the master because of love of money. He betrayed son of God. Samson, he lost his status. He lost his assignment. He lost his eyes, his sight for love of women. The enemy looks at weak points. What is it our weak points? We've been tempted. But remember, God is a God of second chance. God is a God of second chance. It's just that only that the, the eyes of Samson could not grow again. But God restored him his strength again. God restored his strength again. Today, I come to call upon the God of second chance. Whatever you have lost as I raise this Bible, the word of God, which he says I sob upon my word, Marco Shikatayanda. Whatever you have lost because of petty temptations, probably you lost your job, you lost your business, you lost your family, you lost your health. I declare God who gives second chance is restoring you. God who gives a second chance is going to restore your life. Marco Shikatayanda. I don't know who I'm talking to, but God has put this word in my heart. I am going to release kingdom blessings for my, uh, for my children for their assignments. Blessings is not just money. Everything go by the everything that makes you to be happy, to feel like a child of God, to have a testimony. It is a blessing of God. And these blessings, they are coming to you, my sister and my brother. Despite whatever you have experienced, the pain, wherever, whoever fell short of temptation, Arriba Koshata, Anthony, I am seeing a spirit that has been monitoring you. Forget about human beings. Don't say it is so and so. The enemy himself is monitoring you. And he does not waste his bullets. If he's monitoring you, there is something he wants to destroy in your life. But he is a liar. Today we bind him and we cast him out of your life. And we declare he is totally destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Authority. That is the word I got. The reason why the enemy is monitoring you, I don't know why authority in your life. Because that's what I had. And I declare be healed on your knees. And I declare good news is coming your way, my brother. Yes, celebrate. God is going to do for you something good. Your authority, God is going to restore double. You see, after Job endured the temptations of the enemy, he never cast God. He never stopped praying. Even those who came to laugh at him, Job continued to pray for them. And then the Bible says something so good. Job was restored double. Double of what he lost. God restored John, Job double. Today, Michael Shika Toyente, Zora Bako Shika Toyanda Raboka, Like Zekete Yende Reboka. We are calling the high priests who has been tempted as we were tempted, who was tempted as we are tempted today. He knows our weaknesses, he knows our failures, and he is the master, Jesus Christ. God of second chance is going to restore you. He's going to restore you. He's going to restore you. He's going to restore you. That peace, that job, that family, that business, that finances. God is going to restore double in Jesus' mighty name. See what the Bible says. See what the Bible says. Um, but each each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own desires and enticed. Then after they have after the desire has been conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's full grown, it gives birth to death. Temptation is not a sin, uh, or being tempted is it a sin. 
but it's when the sin is born and we adopt to the change and the character. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. There's something that is said, Jesus Christ, um, he was also tempted like, like we are tempted. And it's also saying he's our high priest. He's our high priest who is seated on the right hand of the Father. In the sitting for us. He knows my weakness. He knows your weakness. Me koshi katayanda. Today I declare. Today I come with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I come with the word of God. And I speak to that situation. Where the enemy used your weakness. It is God who created us. He created our eyes. Sometimes we, the enemy tempted us through our eyes. King David, God tempted him through his eyes. He went, to, he went to look at a woman who was bathing and he could not control himself. Sometimes the temptation came through food. Sometimes the temptation came through your eyes. Sometimes the temptation came through your mouth. You cannot help but participate in gossiping. And the Bible says we shall be judged for every idle word we've said. Sometimes it could have fallen short because of we went with company, friends, and they dragged us to things that made us to lose families, made us to lose jobs, made us to lose health. There's someone who got tempted and just day one and they got HIV AIDS. Praise the Lord. But there's a God of second chance. There's a God who can restore. He cast Ezekiel. Son of man, can this bone, can these bones live again? And Ezekiel, even if he was a prophet, he could say, How? How? How can this be restored back to life? I know there's someone who is asking, it has been five years, it has been ten years when I'm swimming in this ocean of problems after problems after problems. How can I live again a happy life as I used to live? How can my life be restored back again? How can my family be together just as the, the we, we be happy as the days we were courting with my wife or courting with my husband? Mako Shikata Yanda, today... We are breaking hold of every work of the enemy. The Bible says something. It says, no man. It says something like, um, no man can enter. We need to break hold of every legal ground the enemy is using to hold that pain, to hold that failure, to hold that um, scarcity, to hold that destruction, whatever is, it, it's making the enemy stand on that ground and say, I want to stand here and keep on releasing pain. Today we are coming against it and break it. The Bible says no one can enter in a man, in a strong man's house to take his plunder unless he binds him first. Today I raise my hand. No, I want to raise the word of God. I raise this Bible. The word of God. And I bind every demon of frustration. I bind every demon of scarcity. I bind every demon of failure. I bind every demon of sickness and disease. I bind every demon of dry. Oh, rakashota yanda. Zuko taribo tayende. Every demon releasing rejection, every demon releasing delay, every demon releasing death, every demon releasing attacks, we bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And by this word of God, we cast you out of families, we cast you out of our businesses, we cast you out of our hands, we cast you out of our joy and our peace. Out in Jesus' mighty name, we send you to the bottomless pit by the word of God. We declare today, today, devil, your kingdom be set on fire of the Holy Ghost. Let your kingdom be set on fire now. Wherever the enemy is hiding, any altar, any legal ground, be it or be it evil covenant, in the name of Jesus Christ, today we declare.
here by this word. Devil catch fire. Devil catch fire. Devil catch fire. Devil catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. She can derecho. She catayende. Catch fire. Every dragon. We drive you back to the to the bottomless pit. We drive you back to hell. Leave our homes. Leave our joy. Leave our peace. Leave our finances. Leave our health. Leave our children. Leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave. Let the word of God, which is a sword, double edged sword, let it slice every hand of the enemy. Let it destroy. Let it destroy every captivity, every cage, anything the enemy is holding. Let a legal ground. Let the word of God that is light. Shine in every darkness, shine in our homes, shine in the works of our hands, shine in our health, and let every darkness flee in Jesus' mighty name. Believe me, believe you me, believe you be with me. Let's agree a prayer of a, a, a cord of three strings is hard to break. We are joining our faith and declare every demon bringing death. Bringing sickness, bringing frustrations, bringing failures, bringing delays, bringing rejection, bringing destruction. Today we bind it in the name of Jesus and we command it out, 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 out in Jesus' mighty name. Shaka tarabako sakatayanda, zoko tariboko shika tayende. Carol Britton, I feel tears in your life. There has been tears of more. You've gone frustration. God is telling me for the last three years, it has been frustrations and frustrations and tears. Carol Britton. Yeah, for the last three years, God is telling me your life has experienced severe frustrations. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may your life be set free. May your life be set free. The word of God has said if the enemy is caught, if the thief is caught, he should pay back seven times. I declare make whatever every thief that has stolen, killed and destroyed anything valuable in your life. I declare restoration for seven times. I declare by the word of God restoration seven times. Restoration seven times. Restoration seven times in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Because I'm seeing something, I'm seeing something. Ha, she I'm seeing like your, like your, I don't know whether it is your home, it is your land, whatever it is, the enemy had put like a circle, you can't have it. I break the hold of that circle. I break hold, it has been a life of a circle for the last three years. Same battles, same battles. I declare, I raise the word of God. In your situation, Carol Britton, and I declare, be set free. I declare, let the enemy live and be restored, whatever belongs to you. Anyone the enemy has stolen joy, peace, breakthrough, job, land, houses, marriages, sakatosha, kateyanda, be restored in Jesus' mighty name, by the word of God. By the word of God. Ezekiel said, I don't know if these bones can live again, but you, Lord, you know. And I say, by this word of God, God knows. He knows how you're going to be restored. That joy, that peace, that family, and that land, you'll be restored in Jesus' name. That land, the whatever, that life of circle in that land is totally destroyed and broken and destroyed and broken and destroyed. And you're set free and your family is set free. And I declare, if I be the prophet of God, no one will touch that land. If the battle has been because of that land, I say as the Spirit says, tells me, whoever has been fighting you, your auntie, okay, your auntie, your auntie, if they are the ones who are fighting you, I leave this Bible and declare if they come again, they will die. I leave this Bible. I leave this Bible and they declare if they touch that land, they will die. You will bury them. If they come again to claim that land, they will die in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak as the Lord has said. They frustrated you because of what belongs to you. Hmm. 
I declare have peace. Have peace. Go and eat and rejoice. God has taken up the matter for you, my sister. And you can touch on your right leg, on the joints, um, the, <laughs> the inner side, the inside side of your, of your thigh. There's a pain there, okay? There's a pain there, like a painful gland. Is it gland, 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 gland? Okay, whatever it is, I declare be healed in Jesus' name. And that headache to go in Jesus' mighty name. How can I know what is all this unless God is telling me? Go and rejoice, my sister. No more frustration in your life. The enemy has really frustrated you until there is no peace. Oh, the, you know, ah, yo, Ramakosha Tayanda. Hmm. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Woman, ah, a woman is fighting my husband for his land. Yes. God has taken up the matter. Rejoice. And the pain you're experiencing on the thigh, it is gone. And your husband has also been experiencing pain on the backside of his head. I declare be and the right knee. Is that true? How can I know about your husband who is all the way in Bar Barbados? I declare that knee be healed and the pain here. He has also been experiencing pain. Yeah? Just below the chest, I declare he's healed. Any pain in his body, I declare he's set free and he's healed in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. And I'm seeing someone who is skating. Who does skating in your family? Carol Britton, who does skating? <clears throat> I'm seeing someone like riding on um, by the roadside. Like skating. Mako shikata yende reboka. Zola boko shakata yanda. Who is that who is skating? I speak his destiny to be aligned according to the will of God in heaven in Jesus' mighty name. It is destiny to be aligned according to his will. According to the will of God in heaven, in Jesus' mighty name, I declare the counsel of the enemy is frustrated from every person that is logged in. The counsel of the wicked is frustrated in the name of Jesus. The counsel of God will prevail, and only the counsel of God, which that is from God, is which that will prevail in Jesus. I do not know. Huh. It is the person who has been experiencing pain here on the right side. Yeah? I declare they are healed and they are delivered and their destiny is restored in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, I'm going to take two prayer points and then we wind up. So, today we are going to agree. Let's pray, let's pray the prayer of agreement. God is going to restore health, going to restore mantles, going to restore finances, going to restore peace and joy, going to restore families, marriages, weddings. God is going to restore finances, businesses. God is going to restore uh, anything the enemy has stolen from your lives and my lives. Uphold my kids in prayers. Yes, my brother, I hear you. May God bring joy and peace to those kids. May God give them peace that surpasses any human understanding. And one of your children, my brother, has pain on the, left, the right eye. The small boy. Who is that? Who, who has that pain on the right eye? Wonder working God Way maker Ashend of days Miracle worker Wonder working God Way maker So we were praying uh Proverbs six thirty one but if he is God he must pray seven times 
and whatever is sold, even if he has to sell everything in his house, we are going to declare. I don't know what is that you want God to restore you, but declare is going to be restored. I declare restoration. Whatever the enemy has stolen, whatever the enemy has stolen from your life, I declare be restored. I've just seen my sister from water. Um, Cynthia, Cynthia, I've seen uh, this is what the enemy has placed in your life. I'm seeing, um, like, tell me about this like a madhouse that is opened and it has like, um, iron sheets that have some rust, some parts, Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia Mbinya. Thank you so much, my beautiful sister Adela. Thank you so much for joining me. Cynthia, I've seen like a madhouse and it is opened. And when the door, it is the door, okay. To me, if you unless you know the house, I translate it like a door of poverty that is open staring at you. Mako I declare that evil door. Shut in the name of Jesus. Every evil door of the enemy or whatever door has been opened by anyone in your family. I declare let that door be shut. Let that door be shut. Let that door be shut in the name of Jesus Christ. Because in out of that door I'm seeing something. Ha. Huh? Like a it came like a like a ring and then it came like a sharp powers of darkness that are really monitoring you devil you're a liar i declare through blood of jesus let that evil light be shut let that evil light be destroyed i declare name of jesus christ over your life i declare name of jesus of your life and i declare you will not lose your money you will not lose your finances in the name of jesus i declare be restored and every evil light of the enemy be totally destroyed and uprooted in the name of Jesus, any person who has connected themselves from powers of darkness, I turn around those powers. I turn around those powers. I capsize them now. I declare, let them be turned around and turn around and turn around and be destroyed. They will not have any power over our lives. They will not have power over your life. They will not have power over your family. In the name of Jesus, devil, you're a liar. I cast that moon. I cast those powers of darkness out in Jesus mighty name you will not monta riba koshi kato yanda rike zeketele boko shikata ye mando zeketele boko shikata yanda rike ndere boko sakata yanda I declare those powers of night that present poverty that comes to release poverty they are terminated in Jesus name I raise the word of God that is all what I know and declare it is a sword it is a sword that pierces even spirits is a is a, is a sword that pierces joints and marrows and intents of hearts she can do let those powers of darkness now catch fire of the holy ghost catch fire of holy ghost catch fire of god ghost in jesus mighty name Whatever the enemy, I'm seeing padlocks. I'm seeing padlocks. Minor, I'm seeing a padlock in your life. Whatever, the padlock is kind of open. There's a job that you've been called, but it has not yet been confirmed. Because the padlock is halfway opened. Riko, she can do zata liboka. Eira, can do zata yeke. And there's a pain around here. Is that true, Minor? There's a pain around here. A, a pain around here on the on the this is right shoulder i declare that padlock totally be opened that paddle be totally opened in jesus mighty name me koshika toyende zota libo koshaka tayende mazo kotaraba koshika tayende i declare anyone the enemy is oppressing them in any way oppressing their businesses they are seeing blessings but the blessings they are not arriving i declare in the name of jesus effort open up open
open up, open up in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. Shaka Tayende, Zoko Taba. We declare we are come, we are going, we are approaching the throne of Jesus Christ to declare masses. Masses is to break every legal ground. Masses is to break every legal ground. Whatever you did, it is okay. Whatever sin you did, God is merciful to forgive. He says, Come boldly to the throne of grace that you may receive mercy and obtain grace. I declare in the name of Jesus, let masses of God. Erase, 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 erase every legal ground. Erase, erase every legal ground that the enemy is using to attack you. Let it be broken. And let the grace of God restore, 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 restore whatever you had lost. Restore that family. Restore that health. Restore that business. Restore that, oh, shakatayende. Restore that ministry. Restore, be restored in Jesus' mighty name. I leave this word of God, which is a life. Declare, let there be showers of blessings in your life. Let there be showers of breakthrough. Let there be showers of healing. Let there be showers of deliverance in the name of Jesus. And lastly, and not the least, I declare Isaiah 54, 17. Any word that was spoken by anyone that has brought pain, shame, calamity, whoever spoke about those words, today they are nullified. Isaiah 54 says, says, No weapon fashioned against you that shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment you shall condemn. And this is the heritage of servants of the Lord, and their vindication is of me. God says, Is righteous. This is the one who paid the price for you, not you went to him. He is the one who came to rescue you and he paid the ransom for you. So he called you to be righteous. Therefore any word that was spoken by anyone in authority cursing you, any word that has brought pain, shame and tears in your life, I declare that word we condemn. We pull it from your spirit. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. We declare that word null and void. Every curse that came because of words spoken. Today we undo it. We and we overthrow them, we uproot them and declare let blessings begin to shine, let blessings begin to shine, let blessings begin to shine, let blessings begin to shine in the name of Jesus Christ today I declare to every person that has any pain anywhere, anywhere be it your body, your your family, your health whatever pain, whatever pain it is, the word of God says by his stripes we are healed and he sent his word he sent his word to heal us and deliver us from our destruction declare i declare i'm healed whatever you have experienced any kind of any manner of pain i declare be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ i declare be healed anyone who is experiencing any pain anywhere shika toyende mako sata I declare be healed. Be healed by the word of God. Be healed by the word of Jesus. Any yoke. Mirana Jennifer, I just saw a yoke. I don't know what is that. The enemy has yoked you into a pain, something frustrating in your life, and you've been experiencing like some sort of weird pain on your shoulder and also which comes all the way to your left hand. I raise this word and declare let that frustration catch fire, let that pain catch fire in Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Man of God, God is going to work. Man of God, William Williams. God is going to take your ministry to another level. I just saw a staring. You know, a staring is you're driving, you're driving the ministry somewhere. God is going to uphold your mighty hand, your right hand. God is going to uphold you on where you want to take your ministry to the next level. And I raise this word of God and declare may Jehovah God come through for you, uphold you in Jesus' mighty name. And I don't know who is that in your family who has pain on the right, right leg. And of, underneath, it comes like a mild pain. Especially when they walk or they stand for so long. I declare that pain is terminated and is erased. In Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name. I declare be blessed every person that logged in. Someone is watching me, you've, you've experiencing uh, like sore throats. Sore throats. Mm. Sore throats. 
I declare those soap products, they are terminated. Mm. There is a house I'm seeing is not complete. Mirara Jennifer, I'm seeing a house that is not complete. And the, 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 the roof or the, the, the iron sheets, they are just silver. Who's that house? Who's that house? Yekende Kosha, it's me. Ah, that sore throat, my sister, they are erased. Go, my brother William, Williams, God is going to give you money for the ministry because of where God wants to take you. God is going to bring people who shall support you financially so that, the God, so that you can take the ministry where God wants it to go. And also I've experienced not you but someone who has pain on the left leg, knee, left knee. I declare be healed in Jesus mighty, mighty name. Man, sore throats. Uh, yeah, you can touch your, you can touch yourself. Those sore throats, my brother Anthony. I declare, be healed. Those sore throats and that headache, let it go and dry up in Jesus' mighty name. I lift my hands and cover every person. Yes, blood pressure. It's terminated. It is aborted. That's the work of the enemy. It's frustrated and aborted and removed touch yourself those, that headache I command that headache to go in Jesus mighty name I command that headache to go in Jesus mighty 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 name Father I lift my hands as I declare it is your voice Lord it's all about you Jesus touch every person that has joined me touch every person that has connected to this broadcast Father locate them Remove every sickness and disease. Remove every pain. Remove every frustrations. Remove every yoke. Let your anointing set them free. Let your anointing heal them. Let your anointing deliver them. Let your anointing restore whatever the enemy has stolen from their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are depending on you. Let your restoration come and locate us. Speedily, Lord, by your mercies and by your grace. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your name, we pray and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we've winded up our service. This is Prophetess Wanzilla. I love you so much and Jesus loves you. And I believe God has touched you. God has touched you. And the hand of God, the right hand of God is power. Is going to touch you wherever you are. Is not limited to distance, is not limited to locations, is not limited to our sins. He came even when we didn't know him, he came to us himself first. So, he, by his mercy, his love, is going to locate you, is going to touch you, and is going to elevate you to a place you can only say, This is the finger of God has done this. Be my number. My number is down there. Aurelia, where is my number? You can support my ministry. I believe someone has posted here. Um, someone is posting, and I believe someone is going to post. It's it, it's in the comments here, my sister. I can see you're asking my number. It's it's it's. Let me just type it again. Um, plus two five four seven ten eight six nine eight seven eight. Gentle. Thank you so much. I appreciate you to support my ministry. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you and thank you for taking your time to, to join this e-service. May the hand of God locate you. And may the hand of God overshadow you. And may the light of God shine in all that is called by your name. And let every darkness flee, never to return. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you so much. And Jesus loves you so, 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 so much. Bye-bye.